My Hero Academia is without a doubt one of the biggest manga and anime going on right now. Currently in its fourth season of the anime, the series has been on the rise, especially after the success of Two Heroes, the first My Hero Academia movie. But how does Heroes Rising stack up? Is it an improvement or is it inferior? I'd say it was an excellent movie that showed what makes My Hero Academia special, even though there were some questionable choices. And with that said, this is a spoiler-free review of My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. First things first, I want to get some things out of the way. You would have to have some knowledge of My Hero Academia to understand what is going on, as the film is actually canon. If you read the manga, you'll know. With the anime, it will make sense eventually. Trust me. The film takes Class 1A to an island to do some hero work without any pro heroes to help them. All seems easy in the island until a villain named Nine and his crew take over the island to search for two children, Katsuma and Mahiro. Now it's up to Deku, Bakugo, and the rest of Class 1A to save the children and protect everyone in the island. While the main focus is on Deku and Bakugo's relationship and their motives of being a hero, every 1A student had a chance to shine in this movie. Each of them had their moments that helped the film have balance between the characters. Even when they're doing simple tasks, like helping townspeople with their jobs or protecting beachgoers, it's really charming because of the students' laid-back and fun personalities. The animation done by Studio Bones is incredible in almost every aspect, from the fight scenes to even the backgrounds. It has a mixture of color and brightness. Even the final battle, I felt it was the most colorful fight I've seen in animation, and it's such a trip and it's such a thrill ride. However, I do want to point out some parts that seem a little bit low, a little weak. The main villain's motive seems a little cliched, and it felt rehashed, recycled. Even Katsuma and Mahiro's character's arc, they felt recycled to me. I had a problem with the use of CGI of the clouds during the fight scenes, as I felt it was so out of place. The music during the final battle, which was an awesome scene by the way, felt misplaced or misfitting, depending on your taste. Speaking of the final battle, man that was such a trip. It had loads of color and beautiful animation that felt like other past fights in the My Hero Academia anime, and even other anime like Dragon Ball Super. My Hero Academia Heroes Rising brings out the best of the characters, along with the action that makes up the flaws. From characters like Ashida and Siro having standout moments, to the Deku Bakugo team up, everyone was able to shine in this film and reminds viewers that it isn't just Deku's story about being a hero. It's about all of Class 1A's growth to becoming pro heroes. Overall, I give My Hero Academia Heroes Rising an 8.5 out of 10. Thanks for listening. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and spread the word. Thanks for listening and take care. Go Beyond Plus Ultra.